Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we've got a pair of running backs who are hoping for plenty of touches come their way. It's the Giants going up against the Eagles. So let's go now to East Brotherford, New Jersey, where Jim and Phil are on the call. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Two NFC East teams about to go at it as we join you from MetLife Stadium. Down on the sidelines in his second season in Philadelphia, head coach Chip Kelly. And on the other sideline, one of only 13 head coaches to win more than one Super Bowl. It's Tom Coughlin. So that means the dangerous Trendon Holiday will be back for the kick. Alex Henry ready to kick it away to start today's game. Back here, we'll bring the ball. to the 20. Trotting onto the field, the giant record holder for passing touchdowns for a career and in the playoffs. Two-time Super Bowl MVP, Eli Manning. Eli Manning in 2013 was under tremendous pressure. The offensive line really struggled. You give this guy time to throw, he'll get the job done. As we talk about the offense, Ruben Randall has gotten better every year in the league since coming out of LSU in 2012 as a second-round pick. This is going to be a breakout year for Ruben Randall. He's big, fast, and strong, as we talk about all the time. Those are great qualities, and he got better last year. Look out. Giants understand, just get whatever yards you can every time you're going to play. That's what they do that time. It's a short completion, but look what position it puts them here. In on third down, this is something they can handle. On the way, third down. Play action, Manning. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. His first year as a starter, Nick Foles. Nick Foles wasn't outstanding last year for the Philadelphia Eagles. He was great. How about this? I never heard such a stat. 27 touchdowns, two interceptions. Chip Kelly found himself a quarterback. Taking a look at this offensive unit, Riley Cooper has become a favorite target for the wide receiver position. I think he showed everybody you can rely on Riley Cooper to do his job, and he can do it well. He had a really good year in 2013. Here's the defense, a unit that works best when it gets to the quarterback. Foles is lined up, two tight end set. Tight ends in motion here. 
Foles is standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Looking to the right side and throwing. Cooper's marked down at the 19. Number nine. It didn't take long, but they're already in scoring territory inside the red zone. Yeah, they're making it look easy, aren't they, so far? But you've got to be alert on the defensive side right now because this offense loves to go for the touchdown once they get into the red zone. After the long game, let's see what they do here. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Rock for a loss on that play. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down coming up. And Matthews is in the slot. McCoy's got it on the handoff. Brown's the one who brings him to the ground. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. And the flag is down. Incomplete. was trying to guess the snap count and it cost them there a lot to overcome here especially that penalty and it's third down a little jumpy there by that defensive front first down here Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. McCoy's handed the football. Rocked for a loss on that tackle. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. And now they have a good situation. That leads us to second down. has got the carry once more. When you get third goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Ready to take the snap at the four. Offense lines up here. That encroachment penalty gives the offense a free five yards. Yeah, when you play offense in the NFL, you take all the free yards you can get. That is a that's a, just a good break for the offense right there. Good job there by the offense. Third and goal. And what do they do? They run the football against the defense. And nice job getting the touchdown. The Eagles have put the football on the tee. They're ready to kick it off. The offense over on the sideline celebrating the fact that they took advantage of that poor punt and managed to put points on the scoreboard. Just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. First out, offense readying for the snap. The defense comes out of the dime. First and ten. Catch made by Mario Manningham. 
<laughs> this defensive lineup today hopes to apply a lot of pressure on the quarterback, and that means it must have a big game from Trent Cole. Yeah, I think it does. Trent Cole, he can beat you with power sometimes, but you always have to look out for his speed. That is his greatest weapon, and we've got to see that here today. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. After that last carry, it's third and three. And Jennings going to secure the handoff. Middle. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. One quarter complete, and we'll take a break as you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Waves his arm, and he's going to make a fair catch. Fair catch. The Eagles are set now for their next possession. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. First and ten. Kiwanuka is there to take him down. Back deep to return in his third season from Toledo is Damaris Johnson. And Josh Brown looks ready to get this one underway. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. So now let's go to Glendale, Arizona where Jim and Phil have the call. Redskins, Giants on 
on EA Sports. We welcome you to Glendale, Arizona for today's game. Two weeks of buildup, and at last, the Super Bowl is upon us. The final thought before kickoff. And dreams do come true. You are in the Super Bowl. But just remember this. Everything you do here will be remembered. Everything you did leading up to it, it's gone and forgotten. How you play today is how people are going to think of you. Hello, friends. Jim Nance and Phil Sims here in Arizona getting set for Super Bowl 49. The last time the Super Bowl was here was a wild one with the Giants beating the undefeated at the time, New England Patriots. Maybe we've got another good one like that in store today. I think we have a wild one in store again today. Both uh, coaches are willing to take chances. They are daring. Sit in your seats for the kickoff. Now we go down to field level as Danielle Bellini has more on today's matchup. Thanks, Jim. This Super Bowl can be a very distracting time for players and coaches. So I asked both teams, how have you been dealing with all of the distractions during this run up to Super Bowl 49? While they all admitted, yes, it's easy to get caught up in the media attention, they tell me they've been 100% focused on this game tonight. And guys, they all know what a special night this is, and they want to make the most of it by coming out with a win. Back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. So that means Trendon Holiday will be back for the opening kick. The Redskins ready here for the kickoff. start their drive from about the 31. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Manning's back in shotgun formation. He's got the catch. Nice tackle. Here's the offensive line which must protect its quarterback today. Second down here. And Jennings in the backfield. Single back set. Lake Fox running down. And Jennings taking the handoff. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Player to watch today is quarterback D'Angelo Hall. I like D'Angelo Hall. He can play the inside receiver, very aggressive, and there are times when he's one of the better defensive backs in the NFL. Midway through the first. Fights through that hit. Can't find the target. 